Hello and welcome. You're watching Next IS English Species in News. In this episode, we travel across continents from the crowded metropolis of Hong Kong to the remote mountains of Kashmir and the warm waters of the Indian Ocean, highlighting the latest in wildlife discovery and conservation efforts. Let's begin with a remarkable tale of a threatened bird finding an unexpected home, yellow-crested cockatoos, an urban refugee. The beautiful yellow-crested cockatoo is making headlines for thriving in an unlikely place, the bustling urban parks of Hong Kong. The city is now home to an estimated 10% of the species' global wild population of only about 200 mature birds. These cockatoos, easily recognized by their bright yellow crest, are native to Indonesia and East Timor, where they prefer open forest habitats. Their survival in Hong Kong is a unique example of urban biodiversity, but the species remain critically endangered globally due to illegal trade and habitat loss in its native range. Now, we move closer to home to the Himalayan region and a multi-generational conservation effort. Hangul deer, let's talk about them. A young resident of Srinagar is continuing his family's long legacy of conserving the endangered Hangul deer, also known as the Kashmir stag. Once widespread across the Himalayas, this subspecies of Central Asian red deer now survives primarily within Dakchingam National Park in Kashmir. The Hangul, identified by its impressive antlers, prefers deciduous woodlands and alpine meadows. Its population decline is largely due to poaching, habitat pressure from livestock competition and low generic diversity. Listed as critically endangered by the IUCN, the Hangul's future relies on dedicated ground-level conservation work like that being carried out by this young conservationist. Next, an update on one of the planet's most iconic megafauna. Let's talk about rhinoceros. According to the latest State of the Rhino report, by the International Rhino Foundation, the global rhinoceros population has now stabilized at around 27,000 individuals. While this is encouraging news, it is a stark reminder that the number is down from an estimated 5 lakh a century ago. Rhinos, large herbivorous mammals defined by their characteristic horned snouts, include five species across Asia and Africa. The black and white rhinos in Africa, and the greater one haunt Sumitran and Javan rhinos in Asia. Despite the stabilization, they still face severe threats from poaching, habitat fragmentation and climate change, underscoring the need for continuous, rigorous protection efforts. Finally, to the marine waters of South India, celebrating an international endorsement of conservation. Let's talk about dugong. India's commitment to marine conservation received international recognition this month as the IUCN formally endorsed the nation's first Dugong Conservation Reserve in Park Bay, Tamil Nadu at the World Conservation Congress 2025 in Abu Dhabi. Established in 2022, the reserve protects 12,250 hectares of crucial seagrass meadows, which serve as the primary feeding ground for the gentle dugong. This large herbivorous marine mammal found across the Indo-Pacific is highly dependent on these meadows. Dugongs are listed as vulnerable by the IUCN and face threats from habitat degradation and destructive fishing. The reserve's international recognition solidifies India's efforts to safeguard this peaceful sea cow. And that is it for today's episode of Species and News on Next IS English. From urban cockatoos to the recovery of the global rhino population, these stories reflect the combined efforts of local communities and global conservation bodies to protect the planet's diverse wildlife. So, stay curious and stay connected with nature. I will see you in another episode. Until then, bye-bye. Take care.